GTA 5 micro soldering is one of the most annoying things to encounter, especially when you build a new PC. Then when you try to find a solution, most videos are missing a few things, are out of date, or in rare cases clickbait. Why does micro soldering occur in Grand Theft Auto 5 anyway? The GTA 5 game has a maximum frame limit of 187.5 frames per second or FPS. When this limit is reached, the game will briefly go above this limit and cause micro stuttering. After the micro stutter, the game continues at the maximum frame limit of 187.5 FPS until the issue reoccurs. In this GTA 5 benchmark, micro stutters are occurring and we're going to fix this. Since Rockstar doesn't seem to be implementing an in-game solution to fix this issue, the solution is to set a frame limit outside of the game. To do this, we're going to use the NVIDIA control panel. There are a few ways to get to the NVIDIA control panel. If you're running Windows 11, right click on the desktop, go to show more options, and then go to NVIDIA control panel. If you're using Windows 10, right click on the desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. In the NVIDIA control panel, go to 3D settings, then manage 3D settings. Go to the program settings tab, under select a program to customize, select Grand Theft Auto 5 Launcher. If it's not in the list, you'll need to add it manually. Find background application max frame rate, click on the down arrow, set it to on, and put in a limit of 60 FPS. Click OK. Next, find max frame rate, click on the down arrow, set it to on, and put in a limit of 150 FPS. Click OK. At the bottom, click Apply. Let's go back to select a program to customize. Select Grand Theft Auto 5. We're going to do the same thing as before. Find Background Application Max Frame Rate. Click on the down arrow. Set it to On. And put in a limit of 60 FPS. Click OK. Next, Find Max Frame Rate. Click on the down arrow. Set it to On. And put in a limit of 150 FPS. Click OK. At the bottom, click Apply. Close NVIDIA Control Panel. Once you've done that, relaunch GTA 5. When you run the game, as well as the benchmark, you'll find the game won't stutter, and the game will follow the frame limits. This will work for GTA 5 single player and multiplayer, but what if you used 5M? In 5M's GTA benchmark, 5M is not following the previous NVIDIA Control Panel settings. It runs GTA 5 with its own settings. If you enable the NUI in-process GPU limiter and audio frame limiter, it has problems if you reach the GTA 5 Rage Engine FPS limit. Micro stuttering still occurs in the menu as well as the benchmark. Even if you put in a frame limit in the NVIDIA control panel, there are still micro stutters as observed in the GTA 5 menu. I found the following settings to work best. Before we make changes, make sure you've run 5M at least once. If you use 5M for the purpose of single player or story mode, make sure you've loaded into the game completely at least one time. If you use 5M for the purpose of online or multiplayer gameplay, make sure you've connected and ensure you get to the character selection screen at least one time. The reason for this is to have the 5M cache files built. After this has been done, quit the game. Now, let's go back into the NVIDIA control panel. Go back to 3D settings, then manage 3D settings. Go to the program settings tab. Under select a program to customize, click the add button. Click on browse. Go to your C drive. Go to the users folder. Go to your name. Go to app data. If app data isn't listed, type in app data and click on the open button. Go to the local folder, then the 5M folder. Double click on the 5M.exe file or select it and click open. Find background application max frame rate, click on the down arrow, set it to on and put in a limit of 60 FPS. Click OK. Next, find max frame rate, click on the down arrow, set it to on and put in a limit of 150 FPS. Click OK. At the bottom, click apply. There's several more files we'll need to do. Under select a program to customize, click the add button. Click on browse. Open the 5M application data folder. Double click on the 5M diag.exe file or select it and click open. Find background application max frame rate. Click on the down arrow. 
set it to on, and put in a limit of 60 FPS. Click OK. Next, find max frame rate. Set it to on and put in a limit of 150 FPS. Click OK. Click Apply. Go back to select a program to customize. Click the Add button. Click on Browse. Go to the Data folder. Go to Cache. Go to Subprocess. Under File Name, put a star or asterisk and hit Enter. Select the first file. Double click on it. Find Background Application Max Frame Rate. Set it to On and put in a limit of 60 FPS. Click OK. Find Max Frame Rate. Set it to On and put in a limit of 150 FPS. Click OK. Click Apply. You'll need to repeat this process for every file in the subfolder. You may ask, why do this? When 5M is launched, many of these files are running either with the launcher or when you're connected to the server. Be mindful that if you connect to other servers with older 5M builds or newer builds, those files will need to be added as well. If you're on a dedicated single server, then build updates are usually infrequent. When you're in game, make note of the build number on the top right of the screen. For example, B2699. If there's a 5M build update to the server, that's your cue to go into the NVIDIA control panel and add the missing files from the subprocess folder. Let's launch 5M in story mode with the NUI in process GPU limiter and audio frame limiter off. As you can see, there's no lag going through the menus. In the GTA 5 benchmark, there is no micro stuttering. 5M and GTA 5 are staying below the GTA 5 Rage Engine maximum frame limit. Where's the multiplayer 5M test? Unfortunately, I don't have access to a multiplayer server or RP server to further test. Today, servers pretty much require RP experience to join and if you don't, you're out of luck. At any rate, these settings should help resolve micro stuttering issues in GTA 5 and 5M. And Rockstar, if you're watching, please put in a frame limiter option in this game. If you're not going to do that, make sure it's in there for GTA 6. If that game ages as well as GTA 5, the FPS limiter will probably be reached at some point and there should be some form of control to minimize hurdles for the players. If this video has helped you, consider giving it a like. If you have ideas on future videos, let me know in the comments. Subscribe and turn on the bell if you want to see future videos. Follow me on X and Twitch for updates. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you later.